Okay, I'm going to show you now how I assembled and retouched the um, the basic images which you see featured um, in the animation. The only thing that uh, we don't see here in this folder of images is the uh, typography that was handled separately in Illustrator, so I'm going to do that as a separate video. I'm not going to go into how I exactly cut out and retouch these because there's so many great videos on how to do that already on YouTube it would be quite pointless for me to do that. I just want to share with you though the concept. For example, um, each piece that you see um, was separately constructed. So for example, um, where I was using the heart, it's in fact two images, two separate pictures and I saved everything in what's called PNG 24-bit uh, so that I had a see-through background so each of these um, backgrounds here are transparent um, every single little piece which you want to animate needs to be as a separate file that's how I prepared it so for example you can see here the eggs in two pieces um, the balloon which is in there is also two pieces the chicken is in pieces and I tried to name things in such a way that they would naturally group together so it was easy for me to find them later even the uh, lightsaber the handle which is the common element is separate from two colors when it came to uh, retouch uh, some things that I, I had to do the background here, the, the paper texture, I uh, desaturated this so the original texture is there's a little bit of yellow in there and I desaturated it back to a grey tone because that was more fitting with the colour palette of the brand and where it came to the texture I did have to um, put this on a separate layer put in exactly the kind of red I wanted to use and then overlay that red so that I achieved the red that was more consistent with the brand because the red that was in the text of the saturation and the uh, hue wasn't quite right so I had to um, redo that. You can see that there's no shadows at the moment in any of these um, pictures. None of them feature a shadow uh, because the shadow is added later. Some of these are in grayscale, some of them are in RGB. I also tried to resize them to the size that I thought I was going to make the canvas at. So that the size that they're actually featured in Macromedia Flash, I tried to make them that size. Macromedia Flash version 8, the professional version, it's pretty good. It's better than previous versions because it does allow you to resize um, animation or resize bitmap graphics without losing um, too much quality 